Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is August 9th, 2023. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Liliana of the Veil from Modern Masters 2017. This card is down 7.10% from $15.50 to $14.40 for its market price, and its average price is $18.91. Cavalier of Thorns here from Corset 2020. This card is down 7.42% from $13.89 to $12.86 for its market price, and its average price is $14.02. Fierce Guardianship here, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters, down 7.50% from $62.64 to $57.94 for its market price, and its average price is $63. Grave Pact here from Commander Masters, this card is down 7.91% from $18.58 to $17.11 for its market price, and its average price is $19. Deflecting SWAT here, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters. It's down 8.17% from $45.77 to $42.03 for its market price, and its average price is $45. Goblin Settler here from Starter1999. This card is down 8.69% from $26.57 to $24.26 for its market price, and its average price is $19.95. Deadly Rollick here, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters, down 9% from $25.19 to $22.92 for its market price, and its average price is $27. Arc Fiend of Despair from Commander Masters, this mythic is down 9.03% from $17.05 to $15.51 for its market price, and its average price is $18.19. Flawless Maneuver here, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters, down 10.97%. From $10.76 to $9.58 for its market price, and its average price is $10.79. Perforos God of the Forge, and this card is down 11.17% from $13.07 to $11.61 for its market price, and its average price is $13.37. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Kindred Discovery here from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate, and this card is up 10.31% from $13.09 to $14.44 for its market price, and its average price is $13.50. The extended art version of this card from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate is currently sitting at $13.92 for its market price, and its average price is $15.82, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $15 for its average price, and the Commander 2017 copy is sitting at $13.14 for its market price, and its average price is $14.37. And the version on the list is currently sitting at $12.32 for its market price, and its average price is $23. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format in decks like the Ur-Dragon as well as Lord of the Nazgul and Miriam Sentinel Worm. Next up is Urza's Incubator, and this is the Dominary Remastered copy, up 11.09% from $22.72 to $25.24 for its market price, and its average price is $21.09. And the Urza's Incubator Borderless copy is sitting at $19 for its market price, and its average price is $21.72, and the Retro Frame version of the card is sitting at $17.31 for its market price, and its average price is $18.22. And the Urza's Destiny original copy is sitting at $23.75 for its market price, and its average price is $25. And the Commander 2015 version of the card is sitting at $19.30 for its market price, and its average price is $21.95. And the Commander Anthology Volume 2 version of the card is sitting at $21.43 for its market price, and its average price is $22.90. 
Next up here is Dranith Magistrate from Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. This card is up 12.11% from $13.71 to $15.37 for its market price and its average price is $13.75. In the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $16.19 for its market price and its average price is $17.91. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $22 for its average price. And the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $14.72 for its market price and its average price is $14.72. And this card is being played mostly in the modern format in decks like Hammer Time, Crashing Footfalls, as well as Commander decks like Winona Joyner of Forces, Grand Arbiter Augustine, and Zerd the Enchanter. Next up here is Urza's Workshop from Commander of the Brothers War. It's up 13.35% from $9.36 to $10.61 for its market price, and its average price is $10.05. And the extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $4.32 for its market price, and its average price is $6.10. And this card actually is being played right now in the Legacy format in Abzan Depths, as well as Painter decks. However, it sees most of its play in the Commander format in decks like Zuldok, Void Gorger, Gosluck the Great Distortion, Karn Legacy, Reforged, and also Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger. Next up here is Apex Devastator from Commander Legends. This card is at 15.23% from $12.61 to $14.53 for its market price, and its average price is $13.95. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $20.31 for its market price and its average price is $21. And this card is actually being played in a recent legacy deck called Tainted Pack Combo. And it's also being played in the commander format in decks like Jota Archmage Eternal and Maelstrom Wanderer. Next up is another commander card, Creative Technique from Commander 2021. It's up 52.45% from $2.86 to $4.36 for its market price, and its average price is $8. And the extended art version of this card from Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $3.32 for its market price, and its average price is $7. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Strixhaven Prismari Performance. And this card is also being played in that same Tainted Pack combo deck in Legacy, which is really starting to push this card's price up. Preordain here, and this is the Commander Lord of the Rings copy. It's up 74.07% from $1.62 to $2.82 for its market price, and its average price is $6.59. And there are so many different versions of this card, most of them are around $1 to $2, but I'll show you a few right here. Like the Magic 2011 original copy, sitting at $1.43 for its market price, and its average price is $2. The Commander 2015 copy, sitting at $0.79 for its market price, its average price is $1.58. The Commander Legends copy sitting at $1.30 for its market price, and its average price is $1.74. The extended art version of the card from Commander Legends sitting at $6.23 for its market price, and its average price is $10.65. And the Jumpstart 2022 copy sitting at $6.44 for its market price, and its average price is $9.70. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... I have Ugin from Modern Masters 2015. This foils up 9.83% from $19.53 to $21.45 for its foil market price, and its average price is $52.05. Delighted Halfling here from The Lord of the Rings. This card is up 10.63% from $12.70 to $14.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.57. Accelerate here from Torment, this old frame foil is up 11.03% from $12.87 to $14.29 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.25. Grid Monitor here from Mirrodin, this foil is up 11.46% from $9 to $10.02 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.38. Next foil here is Cyclonic Rift, and this is the foil etch copy from Commander Masters, up 13.65% from $36.56 to $41.55 for its market price, and its average price is $56.34. We've got an old frame foil here from Invasion Ancient Spring, up 18.49% from $8.33 to $9.87 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.62. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger here from Commander Masters, this foils up 19.80% from $27.68 to $33.16 for its foil market price, and its average price is $129.96. Unstable Hulk here from Legions, this old frame foils up 25.28% from $5.30 to $6.64 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2.60. Shoving Match here from Arcadia Masses Old Frame Foils up 33.87% from $3.13 to $4.19 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.42. Emblem of the Warmind from Future Sight, this foils up 46.10% from $6.29 to $9.19 for its foil market price, 
and its average price is six dollars and 35 cents thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my magic the gathering market movers it really really means a lot to me if you could could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into youtube's algorithm so i can continue to grow on this platform obviously all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and i'm forever grateful for that also let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day which cards be most surprised to see on the list and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down below for me to read also i make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow Tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.